So the growth mindset says that there are two approaches. One is that knowledge or intelligence is fixed, or you can work hard to achieve. So that's why we thought that would be perfect for us TAs to understand that even if we don't have the knowledge, we can develop. So the idea is to share with other TAs the theoretical side of teaching and help them to, to succeed in that experience as TAs. Amanda and I decided that the growth mindset theory by Carol Dweck is very interesting and, and we wanted to tap into that to see if other TAs have been uh, like unconsciously making use of this uh, theory to augment their uh, teaching. When I first started teaching in Black Studies, um, I was somewhat nervous. Uh, because that's not my background, per se. Although I do come from an English-speaking culture, it's basically British English, British traditions. And so I know some words I use or some ways of pronouncing things are either off because of my African uh, background or because I was trained in a British tradition. I always try to reiterate what I'm trying to say because I know sometimes they might not understand me, So, and I want the best performance for, from them. So. I might go over things twice, twice. As a dad and as a full-time student, it's uh, obviously not easy, but then uh, I have to manage my time. I have put in quite a lot of work on those worksheets. And then when I see the results, when my students come prepared and they come prepared not only having done those readings, but having they bring their questions. And then they ask me what things are not yet clear. So that gives me lots of satisfaction that the extra work I'm putting in is paying off. I think the biggest piece of advice is to try. Um, I think there's a major barrier in actually taking that step and trying to be a TA. I work very hard. I work incredibly hard uh, to be a TA, um, not just for myself and for my own standards, but also for the students themselves. I think it's been essential to my students and even for my own teaching to be upfront that a lot of the material we're learning together. And so that means I'm learning it for the first time alongside them. I have sat in on my Ameri fellow American classmates, gone into their sessions and listened to them and how they relate as Americans to the students so that I can incorporate some of that into my own teaching. So a helpful mechanism has been uh, really putting the students to work and learn from each other. Uh, in that way, uh, the, the weight and the gravity of the teaching is sort of taken off of me. So I do that work at home and then I send out emails and students know that they're supposed to complete this work. Definitely one of my biggest strategies is to be very flexible in teaching. So my advice to other international teams would be to try and build a rapport with the students. I mean, one way to do that is to always be friendly, approachable, smile as much as you can. I mean, that creates comfort between you, the TA, and your students. And that way they can come to you when things are lost in translation. I think everybody does want to be a good TA. It, uh, it does take time and trying new things and taking risks. So Amanda and I thought that this piece of theory is very important for us uh, and it will be good to share with other TAs so that we can apply it in our work, in our teaching, uh, so that we can have a better, more successful teaching experience.